Heavy traffic greeted several motorists in Tagaytay on Sunday. Hundreds of people visited the country's second summer capital as the city reopened its tourist attractions. Upon entering the picnic grove, there was already a long queue of tourists. All of them are excited to see the breathtaking view of Taal Volcano. Sally and her family even traveled from Rizal to celebrate her birthday at the park. She also brought her 65-year-old parents to stroll around. Para makapag-relax at para maigalan na rin yung mga senior for the long run, eh hindi nakalabas ng bahay, di ba? Kasi uh, bored na bored na sila. Saka since ito naman ay nature, so maganda para sa kanilang health. Feli Brada, meanwhile, took advantage of the long weekend and booked an overnight stay in the city. She even brought her dogs to walk around the park before checking in at their hotel. Nakahinga ng maluwag. <laughs> Ay, kasi hindi sila lumalabas eh. Sabay lang sila eh. After naka-check in kami, 2 p.m. pa. Kaya pupunta, papunta kami sa, ano, sa hotel namin. Hanggang bukas lang. Two days, one night. Park vendors are also happy with the reopening of the picnic grove. Malaking pasalamat kung nanagbukas na po ang picnic grove dahil po malaking tulog po sa amin. Dahil iba po kita rito kaysa sa labas po eh. Nakakatulong din naman po dahil po ng pandemia, ng pandemia, nagpandemia po tapos mahirap po maghanap ng trabaho ngayon kaya nag, uh, nagbukas po siya ayos naman po. Tourists are not required to be fully vaccinated against COVID-19, but children and minors are strictly prohibited. Bringing a food inside the park is allowed, which is why many families are seen eating together in the cottages. Authorities estimate that more than 6,000 people visited the picnic grove on Sunday. Parang nabigla po kami sa dami ng biglang pumasok dito sa picnic grove. Siguro po dahil long weekend, kaya maraming taong pumasok dito. The park management, however, complained of some tourists who are not following the health protocols. Kaya lang dahil sa sila na makalabas, nakakalungkot na parang hindi na po nila nasusunod yung, pag, yung mga protocols natin, health and safety protocols natin. Pero sa kabila naman po noon, may mga na, tourist police naman po kami na tumutulong at saka yung mga empleyado namin na maya at maya ay nagpapaalala. Since the Gaitai City remains under COVID-19 alert level 3, the Ferris wheel ride is still closed to the public. Other activities that tourists can enjoy, such as horseback riding and zipline, are now open. Tourists going to People's Park, meanwhile, will have to go through a checkpoint. Police and local government personnel are strictly inspecting each vehicle, as minors are still prohibited. Last Wednesday, the LJU ordered the park's closure due to a violation of physical distancing and overcrowding. Bawal na pong pumasok ang mga bata. Whenever they come, i- binibigyan na po ng instructions sa gate kagad na hindi po allowed ang mga bata sa lahat ng uh, establishments ng uh, city government as well as uh, other restaurants and resorts. Ganun din po. Ginawa naming mas visible ang uh, signages namin para ma-remind ng public. Following this, the park administrator implemented some adjustments to control the crowd. Only 300 tourists per batch are allowed to enter the park. Some tourists, however, complained about the face shield requirement even in an outdoor setting. Hindi po masyadong maayos pagka titingin ka ng view, nakakasagaban. <laughs> Tulad niya, pag lumipad, gagasos ka na naman ulit, bibili ka na ng face shield. The famous Sky Ranch, several restaurants and hotels are also now open to tourists. For News 5, Camille Samonte, We Are One News.